Thank, thank, thank you very much, uh, and good morning, and welcome to the second meeting in 2018. Could I ask members and members of the public to ensure that their mobile phones are on silent? Apologies have been received from Fulton McGregor, and no substitute has been coming forward. We have a delegation from Bahrain, which I'd like to welcome uh, to the committee meeting this morning. Good morning. Uh, the first item on the agenda this morning is post-legislative scrutiny, and this is to consider the committee's approach to its post-legislative scrutiny. Just to remind uh, people that the point of post-legislative scrutiny is to go back into areas that the committee has dealt with in the past to look to see whether the legislation that has been passed by the government is, is working as intended. There is a paper on this that's been published, and I invite any members of the committee who'd like to make comment to make comment on that paper. Uh, Mike. Yes, Commissioner, thank you for that. Uh, on, the, on the paper, it suggests a, couple, a few bills that we could have a look at. I just think it's important uh, that the public appreciate, since we're in public session, that um, as a member of the first, in the first part of, of our predecessor committee, the Rural Affairs Committee, we did see a number of bills through, and they're not on the suggested list. And I think it's important to let people know that the reason they're not on the, suggest, the suggested list is because they are now being dealt with a different committee and not this committee, so people are fully aware of that fact. Okay, thank, thank you, uh, and that is entirely right. With, with the split of the two committees, we have different uh, uh, interests now to the original committee, so that, that will be uh, important. Stuart, I think, wanted to say something, and then John. I just thought it would be useful to put on, on the record. I'm not quite sure how to deal with this, and we may not have to. Uh, one of the bills that we, we, we have on our list is a bill which I was responsible for as a minister. So I think I, I just think it's important to draw committee's attention to the fact that I might end up in a slightly odd position of appearing to review my own work, and therefore, if we select uh, the bill concerned for consideration, I think equally we jointly should consider how my role should properly be played out in that regard. I don't expect we'll select it, but you never know. Um, well, we're not going to ask you which bill that was, uh, but yes, I think it's, uh, that's, that's an important point. Uh, John? Yeah, a couple of points. I mean, we now have the, the Public Audit and Post-Legislative Scrutiny Committee, which we didn't used to have. So who and how are we deciding what legislation they scrutinise, because presumably they can scrutinise anything, and how are we deciding which stuff that we or the other subject committees would scrutinise? I, mean, I think that uh, where, where they have a role, that, that, that we can uh, approach them if, if, if it's important within our scrutiny of the legislation. But I think it's important that this committee takes a lead on, on the competencies which it deals with. So I think that's the way we would deal with okay. that. And my other point would just be, um, I mean, there's a list here of some of the bills that we could look at. I have to say, I'm not familiar with exactly what was in the transport bill in session one or the transport bill in session two. So maybe the public and we could get some guidance about that before we make a decision? Absolutely. When we, when we take these out to consultation to see which stakeholders would like us to look at, there will be a brief summary of what's in each of the bills so that they know what the bills cover. <coughs> Are there any other questions? Uh, John. Uh, sorry, just to revisit the, the point that, that Mike made. Um, would it be worthwhile as part of the consultation, because I think it's hugely important to get public involvement to outline what the present committee's remit is then? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, th I, th I think that would be a useful uh, introduction to, wh to what we're doing. Yes, I think that would be. And I'm sure the clerks will make that happen now. Uh, Jamie. Very briefly, convener. Um, can I ask what um, criteria will be used to decide on who should be consulted uh, because uh, I suspect with some of these bills there may have been areas of contention that are relevant to specific stakeholders who have a particularly louder voice than others who may be, have interest in the bill. I mean, what, when we do calls for evidence from the committee, as you know, it will go out to all the interested stakeholders that, that, that are involved in the work that the committee does. So, so it would be on the same basis. It would be as wide a call for, for views as we could possibly get. So um, I'm sure... Uh, as we get close to the time, we'll, we'll be reviewing the list and, and we can make sure if anyone thinks that there's anyone else that we've missed. But, I mean, in fairness, we usually get out a pretty good response from the committee uh, to, to the call to evidence if we put it out to everyone. Yeah. 
and, and as, sorry, and as the clerks are, are, are saying, it is obviously available on the website, and it will be, we will try and put it out on social media as much as possible to garner as much support as we can. Peter. <laughs> can, I, can I just ask a simple question? Obviously, we're going to, we're going to put this out widely to the, to the general public. Is it, is it uh, the decision as to which bills we look at dependent on the responses we get back, namely the level of responses? I mean, is it, is it about how many people want to see a particular bill looked at and that's how we would decide which ones we pick? Yeah. Uh, or is that too simplistic? Um, I think the first of all is we've got to make sure that the responses fit the criteria for post-legislative scrutiny as laid down in the approach document. And then I think it's for the committee to sit down uh, as a committee and decide where we can make the most impact and what bit of legislation it is concerned. So obviously we'd be mindful for all the responses that we receive, but I think that's a debate when we see the level of responses and, and the committee then have a chance to consider each of the responses as we do in every call for evidence that we do. Okay, somewhat more questions than I anticipated there, for, for which I thank you for, for keeping me on my toes. Can I ask if the committee has agreed with the, the approach paper as, as outlined in relation to the post legislative scrutiny? Agreed. We're agreed. Thank you very much. The committee now uh, is going to move into private session, so thank you. <laughs>